Okay, um, just to make another quick video. Um, this one's gonna be super quick because I just want to talk about saving. Um, just want to talk about specifically. Um, there are like seven different ways to save in ZBrush, and most of them are wrong. Um, that's what I like to tell my students because it's a little bit weird, and you get freaked out when you're like, "Oh man, how the hell do I save? Like, what do I do?" So this is a this is a file I, I just pulled up uh, something I did a, a while back for um, for a demo. Um, and it's a fun little doodle. I had a good time with it. Um, it's all broken up into some uh, into some pieces. Um, polygroups. Uh, I'll talk about polygroups another time. Some fancy tricks for keeping things easy to work with. But anyways, um, so what do I do with this? How do I save it so that I can continue working on it some other time? Well, let me just tell you, there's like, you can save a tool, you can save a document, you can save a project. And a lot of those, some of them just don't actually even contain your actual model. Just so you know, uh, this is a tool. See this over here? This is what most people do. Saving, like, oh, look, save as. There it is right there. This saves a tool. This is a tool. Um, this model, it's weird. I don't know why they call it a tool when it's just, it's a 3D model. It's weird. But anyways, so this is a tool. So if you save a tool, yeah, you're technically saving the model. But then you lose your undo history and some other things, which maybe you don't care about. Saving that undo history does end up bloating the file pretty uh, pretty large. But then, you know, keeping the undo history is pretty useful at times too. So whatever. It just depends on what your priorities are. But I would say um, this at least, you pr probably be pretty safe that at least you saved the tool. That would actually save the model. Um, but if you go up here, if you save a document, Oh, look, oh, here it is, save, save, save as. And that kind of would make sense, right? You're like, oh, look, I'll save my document. Yeah, no, I'm sorry to tell you. If, you, if you're if you like, oh, save as, and you bring in this document, the document doesn't contain the 3D model. It's stupid. I don't, I, it's, it's just confusing as hell, but hey, whatever. So I'm just going to tell you right now, here's how you should save. If you want to save your, your ZBrush project, you go here, file, save as. File save as. That is actually going to save your ZPR file, .zpr. It is your ZBrush project file. And that will contain the model, the document, and your undo history. Um, and in this case, I already deleted my undo history um, because my file was getting pretty large. And the undo history, by the way, can go up to 20,000 20, undos, which is amazing and super useful. And you can make cool time lapse videos out of that. But that's another topic for another time. But, anyways, my point is. Um, Save it, you know, file save as. That's what you want. File save as. Um, file save as. I'll say it one more time. Um, or control S, by the way. Control S also works. Uh, control S um, gets you the same dialogue. File save as. In fact, you could like mouse over it. It says it right there. Save project as. Control S. So that is how I encourage you to save your, your ZBrush projects. Um, just hit control S or go to file save as, not document, not tool, not, I mean, I mean, tool again is kind of optional. You could do that. It might be a f smaller file size. You know, anyways, I would just say that is probably the safest bet. There's other things you could save too. You could save brushes, you could save, it's just ridiculous how many ways there are to save. And then a lot, and students, every semester students show up to class and they're like, uh, here's my file, but I can't open it. I don't, I, I don't know why I can't open my file. Um, because you didn't save it right. You saved a brush. You saved a brush, not a model. So I, I mean, I don't know. There's only so much I can do. So that's it for saving. Um, that's how you save. Uh, again, Control S. That's what I would recommend.